My name is Dana Barrientos, and we are going to read a story for our story time today um, called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Um, and in this story, we'll be focusing on the sequence of days and sequence of items that the caterpillar eats, and also be identifying um, those items as whether they were a healthy food or a not healthy food for a caterpillar, and to talk about the difference between those. Um, this is both a sequencing activity and also oral language because it helps the students to um, use complete sentences when talking and to use describing words when they're describing objects that they may or may not be familiar with. All right, so the title of our story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and the author's name is Eric Carl. Now today, I want you to pay special attention to something. We're going to be looking at the food that the caterpillar was eating and we're gonna see if he remembered that caterpillars to get big and strong so they can make their chrysalis, they have to eat healthy food, right? Mm -hmm. Just like you have to eat healthy food so you can get big and strong? Yeah. Right, okay. Who wants to get big and tall? Me! Yeah, so you have to eat super, yeah, me too. Um, you have to eat some super healthy food. All right, here we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Is the caterpillar inside? Yeah. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You were right. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came out and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So what day did he come out? On Sunday. On Sunday. What day comes after Sunday? Monday. Let's see what he ate on Monday. On Monday, he ate through one apple, what? but he was still hungry. Did he choose a healthy snack? Is an apple a healthy snack? Sure. Who brought an apple today? Yes, that's a great healthy snack. So, so far he's eating apples, pears, plums, strawberries, oranges, and those are all kinds of fruits and those are very healthy then came the weekend this would be like our day off of school he kind of had his day off too I don't think he ate very healthy do you let's see what he ate he ate some chocolate cake was that healthy no. he had ate through one ice cream cone was that a healthy snack no he ate through one pickle what do you think about pickles? Is that a healthy food? Mm. It, I don't think you're going to get very much many vitamins, but it's okay. A cheese. Is cheese healthy for you? Yeah, that comes from milk. And last was watermelon. Was that a healthy snack? Yes. Oh, and you know what? After he was done eating all of those foods, he was, and he had a tummy ache. What do you look like when your tummy hurts? Oh, is your tummy hurt? Are you holding on to it? Yeah. So then on Sunday, he saw a nice green leaf and he thought, oh, that looks delicious. So he ate all the way through that green leaf. And you know what? His tummy started to feel a lot better. Probably because that's what caterpillars are supposed to eat anyway, right? Yeah. They like leaves and things that they can find on the, green, on the ground. Um, Do you remember our caterpillars when they were e sitting up here and they were eating all of that food in their little jar? They got a lot bigger, didn't they? Because when we got them, they were like that big. And then they kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then they turned into their chrysalis or their cocoon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And ta-da! He came, out, he came of out of a butterfly. So do you think he made some good healthy food choices? Yeah, yeah some of the time. Did he make some not good food choices? No. Yeah, he was eating a lot of sweets, wasn't he? And he got a tummy ache. The end. <laughs>